Human error. An error can be described as the mismatch between the pilot intention and the result of his actions. Studies of human error rate during the performance of simple repetitive tasks has shown that the error can normally be expected to occur 1 in 10 times. Human error rate described as both realistic and pretty good after methodical training is 1 in 100 times. The improvement of human reliability should entail an effort to understand the causes and find means of recovery for errors committed. Origins of representation errors Perception errors Incorrect information from the observed world Receipt of a bad piece of information The descriptive aspect of errors, according to Holnagel's model, describes various directly observable types of erroneous actions which are Intrusion The forward and the backward leap Repetition and omission the relationship between crew error and flight safety is dependent on the social and technical system and on the operational contest created by the system. A system is tolerant to error when the consequences of an error will not seriously jeopardise flight safety. Man can cope with the low error tolerant situations by constantly complying with crossover verification procedures, cross monitoring. Human error may involve random error, systematic error, or sporadic error. Active and latent errors. Active error is produced by the operator and can be rapidly detected via the effects and consequences which it induces on the overall action. The main characteristics of active errors. Rapid and direct consequences on action in progress are down to first-line operators. Latent errors are difficult to understand as a result of the time lag between the generation and the occurrence of the error. Main consequences of latent errors. They remain undetected in the system for a certain time, may only manifest under certain conditions, and lull the pilots into a full sense of security. Skill-based behaviour errors. According to Rasmussen's model, errors in skill-based control mode are routine errors. Errors which occur during highly automated actions, the capture of a poor action sub-program, and action mode error. Environmental capture is a term used to describe the tendency for a skill to be executed in an environment in which it is frequently exercised, even if inappropriate to do so. A skill acquired in one aircraft type, executed in a new type. An example of habit reversion, or negative habit transfer, is a pilot who has flown many hours in an aircraft in which the fuel levers point forwards for the on position, may unintentionally turn the fuel lever into the wrong position when flying a different aircraft where the fuel lever has to point aft to be in the on position. Rule-based behaviour errors. According to Rasmussen's model, errors in rule-based level are of technical knowledge. Errors that occur at rule-based level are application of a poor rule, poor application of a good rule. The end deterioration effect, homeitis, means the tendency to sudden imperceptible errors shortly before the end of a flight. Murphy's Law. If equipment is designed in such a way that it can be operated wrongly, then sooner or later it will be. Strategies to combat human errors. Human errors are now considered as being inherent to the cognitive function of humans and generally inescapable. Once detected, an error will result in cognitive consequences which make it possible to modify behaviour with a view to adaptation. Flight safety considerations must consider the human error mechanism because... If we have a better understanding of the cognitive error mechanism, it will be possible to adapt procedures, aircraft interfaces, etc. Error management procedures enable us to continuously adjust our actions. The better we understand the underlying mechanism of an error, the better will be our means of detecting and adapting to future errors. Means to allow for better error detection. Improvement of the man-machine interface. Development of systems for checking the consistency of situations. Compliance with crossover redundant procedures by the crew. Means to combat human error. Reducing error prone mechanism. Improving the way in which error is taken into account in training. Improving recovery from errors and their consequences.